Alright, so in this tutorial I want to cover strings and concatenating them. Now concatenation by the nif definition is adding crap onto something. So in code, if I was to go something like A and then go string plus equals uh, pff, how about sentence? This is called concat concatenation. Okay, so we're going string is equal to a space string plus equals sentence. So it's going to say a sentence, even though two words isn't really a sentence in my definition. But anyway, now if we go Mr. Box underscore p and go string, I'm sure you've already figured out what it's going to print out, but we're going to use it anyway. A sentence. All right. Now there is more than just um, plus equals operator for. Um, strings in this case. So I can even go string use the append operator so this is um, two uh, left triangular brackets I'm not sure what they're actually called um, and it appends stuff onto uh, strings so if I can if I was to go here and just type in a sentence but a bad one put a space but a bad one and then play it a sentence but a bad one. And this is a bad one because I had crappy grammar skills in that case. Silly me. B. Go a sentence and yep. A sentence, um you can even append onto other ones as well. So a sentence badly done. Sentence badly done and a bad one. Huh. And a bad one. So now it's going to go a sentence, badly done, and a bad one. Uh, <laughs> I'll print it out. A sentence, badly done, and a bad one. <laughs> okay. So that's how you can uh, use concatenation for strings. It's pretty straightforward, really. It's all, you, all you really need to know is plus equals, because that's um, how it's usually done most of the time. But anyway, it just it's nice to know about these two these this operator here and what they can do. So I, I can even replace these with plus equals as well and it still works just fine. Alright. We just play it to make sure. I'm not lying. Okay, I was lying. Okay, so it's plus equals for um variables and append for um strings. So yeah. Append um the P the append operator for uh on its own strings and then um, plus equals for variables or you can even use a pen for both if you want to. It's really up to you what you use. I just use plus equals heart most of the time anyway so yeah that's um, your choice really. So you anyway know, we can go down here we can go string we can go plus uh, dot because why not and then Mr. underscore p as well and just go string now I'm sure you figured out what this is going to do already, but it's going to go a sentence, badly done, and a bad one, dot. So the sen it's actually going to be a sentence, whereas this one's just going to print out that, but without the dot. Okay, because we're doing plus, not plus equals, so it's not adding onto it, it's just sort of, um, yeah. See? Alright, so now I thought I'd go into um, how to make this appear in a window, and pretty easily at that too. So we can go here onto our event and I don't need any of this stuff. So um, I don't really care who have about behavior in you. Um, string uh, script. We can go game message dot add um, hi there. Play it. Go in. Hi there. And that's how you uh, add in uh, a message for the game if you want to do it quickly. Otherwise, if you want to have your own custom kind of thing, you need to put a little bit more effort into it. So yeah, that's how you add a message on its own. You can even use that in the script call in the script, by the way. So I can even do it here. But I'm not sure if it would work here. I'm sure it won't because this is going to be called before that thing is even initialized. So we'll find out. Um, 
just go higher there. And all right, I thought so, because it doesn't exist. So we can go into scene title and do it. Play title music and then put it there. Nope, didn't appear. Alright then. Instead, go to scene map. Um, do the start. There we go. Alright, so uh, there must be some sort of check saying don't do it if you're in scene title. Right, but it works for um, scene map and uh, battles as well. So, really, you just need to know what all that's doing and how to use it to your advantage. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, just to cover it lightly, um, a variable can use plus equals um, text, and um, text can only use the append operator onto it because I did not, I did not actually know that before, but okay. So, something you learn something new every day. And you can also use the pen operator for variables themselves anyway. <clears throat> so, all you need to know is that. And um, game underscore message dot add to add um, text into a window. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all you have to know for now. Till next time, guys.